Hello everyone, uh, my name is Yasser. Uh, today I am going to build uh, this simple application using React.js uh, with Redux and we will use uh, an external API to uh, call and fetch the data and use uh, these data inside uh, inside our application. So basically it's uh, a movie series info application uh, so let's try some text Mission Impossible actually it's not that hard it's not that impossible mission okay so we are fetching the data and display the, the data inside our application all these data is coming from uh, from an, an external API which is this one OMDB uh, OMDB API so, so we are calling this uh, API and fetching the data and uh, manipulated inside uh, our application and display display these data in in, uh, in a certain way so we will uh, use the z use these data uh, inside uh, inside the application so if we tab on one of the results uh, we will see a single uh, movie component uh, we are displaying the basic data like title uh, this info all these info also uh, are coming from uh, the API also we are displaying this link for uh, for the IMDB uh, official link on or official page on IMDB also we can get back and search again for example if this text is not uh, is not is not a, a movie text or if there's no results for this text uh, it will gives us uh, nothing also we will use Redux to uh, manage our application states uh, also we will uh, use these data which is coming from that uh, API and we will store those data inside, inside our uh, states using Redux and uh, manipulate the, these data and display them inside inside the application so uh, that's it I believe for the intro uh, this is an overview of the uh, of the application so I will take a minute and speak of uh, react and redux um, if you are not already familiar with uh, react and uh, also maybe any other uh, the other JavaScript uh, frameworks and libraries like uh, Angular and uh, Vue.js so basically uh, JavaScript and React.js uh, is uh, a library JavaScript library uh, to build user interfaces for the front end so we are using React to build just the front end and the user interfaces so what's the, that so special and what's what's that so important in, in React which makes us uh, using it and why we have to use or what's uh, what's the difference between uh, React and any any uh, other way to build user interfaces so basically React uh, or the single page concept let's say uh, it's uh, splitting and dividing our application into different parts and each part of these uh, called a component and each one of those components has uh, states and props also have life cycle methods also have uh, we will speak of components in the, in the tutorial so each one of these components is a different part so uh, in our application we are gathering those components and rendering them uh, in just one 
single component, which is the main component, which is, uh, in our case, uh, the app component. So we will render uh, this component, which combines all the other components, and display display it inside our application. So the concept of single page application or uh, SPA concept um, it's just like that it's just when you uh, hit some some component inside your uh, inside your application you will notice that the link is not uh, reloading and the whole page is not uh, reloading the whole page the whole component is just uh, rendering uh, the updated component so in our case it just updated this component which is the wrapper of our uh, movies from here from here to here it's just a single component so when this component being changed just this component will be rendered so that will help us uh, to speed uh, our application that also will help uh, our servers to boost up the performance uh, that uh, it's a huge difference between uh, this way of rendering uh, the web pages and the normal uh, way of rendering uh, the uh, web apps or the web uh, or the websites also in these libraries and frameworks uh, we can simply we can simply uh, use uh, and implement HTML inside our JavaScript code so this is uh, magical actually you can do a lot of uh, magical things with this uh, technique and this this uh, technology uh, in the normal way you you will have a, to do some tricky things and and maybe it will uh, look uh, complicated in the normal way but with this way of rendering the pages and with those frameworks and libraries uh, it will help us uh, a lot in, in the process of building uh, web apps and uh, web applications also in our components uh, we have something uh, called lifecycle methods so for each component uh, let's say that uh, if the component being uh, updated or just called uh, it will uh, trigger uh, some method and maybe we can call some action inside that method uh, like calling the API or just uh, calling uh, other component so uh, that's the concept of a JAX calls uh, so that uh, lifecycle methods can help us uh, can help us can help us sorry um, with the AJAX calls and it's much easier than the other way of uh, using vanilla JavaScript and and uh, maybe jQuery and other uh, normal uh, JavaScript libraries so for example if we tab on one of these search uh, results this uh, component which is a single movie component will trigger uh, a lifecycle method called uh, component did mount so this method uh, will be triggered once the uh, the component being called so inside we can use inside this method uh, an action that will call the API and fetch this uh, this single movie, this specific movie data from API from the API and uh, display display it inside our application. So that's it uh, for the React. Uh, for the Redux, uh, Redux is uh, as I mentioned. Uh, our components has uh, states so uh, if you have uh, an app simple application you uh, you can use uh, those uh, states for each component and you can uh, just depend uh, on those uh, single component states 
but if you have uh, if your application getting bigger and you have just uh, some complex uh, processes inside your application you will need something uh, something to manage those states and uh, maybe make make your your life easier uh, in your application so this is where we start uh, using something called uh, Redux so Redux basically is uh, a state manager uh, we can uh, use uh, some global states uh, for your uh, for our application and use those states inside any component uh, in our application so that will help us uh, a lot of course and that will make make uh, our code cleaner and faster and uh, I believe it's uh, maybe it's uh, hard to understand hard to dig digest for a lot of people but uh, I will make sure in this uh, tutorial to explain as uh, as I can uh, I will explain um, the basics of Redux and how we uh, uh, create the basic uh, structure and how how the Redux how the Redux uh, working behind the scenes. Also, another uh, helpful tip uh, from using React uh, is that it's been developed uh, and supported by Facebook. So it's. Uh, it's an open source and there's a lot of developers uh, working on it uh, so uh, if you have any issue or any problem with your application uh, you will go ahead and find a lot of answers and a lot of uh, developers uh, may help you solve your problem so <clears throat> that's a huge difference of course and also it's an open source so you can uh, see the code, see uh, the how how things work, uh, and what's going on in the uh, behind the scene. Um, also, it's it's a, a good benefit from using uh, React. Also, uh, with uh, something called uh, React Native, you can uh, build uh, cross platforms uh, mobile applications. So uh, it's not basically uh, uh, just like React. There's uh, some differences uh, in the syntax and some uh, some concepts, but uh, uh, it's basically depending uh, if you are already worked with React, uh, it will see that uh, it's mu it's uh, it's easy to get into it and build uh, mobile applications. Uh, so I believe that's it uh, for this intro and overview. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you later.